Hey guys, this is Ed with CMC Reptiles. Wanted to do a quick video on this beardy I just picked up from this really cool family that lives pretty close, uh, pretty locally to where I live. They reached out to me um, and asked me if I would take care of this guy. This was an animal they were basically just caring for for a short term and it had a few issues prior uh, before they picked it up. Uh, looks like it might have a little bit of a MBD going on. It's got uh, a little bit of weakness in the front legs, I notice. Can't climb very well. It has some toenails missing. That, cro that carpet that you could get at Petco or PetSmart is horrible for any animal with claws. And because I, I rescued a beardy earlier, same problem. And you see this guy has a black beard. And it's not because of me. That black beard, he's a little bit stressed, and I'll show you why. Across the room, you can see that other enclosure, there's a bearded dragon in there. And Tyson here has view of that female. That's why he's he's gone black. Normally I have right here I have a just a sheet blocking that. So that animal is in view, but I just actually changed the liner out. So I basically just have him on a straight liner. One of my own liners fits the tub perfect, comes up the sides a little bit from edge to edge. So it's just one liner that fits in there perfect. It's really absorbent when they do go to the bathroom. And then you don't have to worry about any kind of issues with their claws getting stuck or snagged or ripping their claws out with that mesh. Even the, the hammocks that they sell for these guys, same thing. They have that mesh material that their nails get snagged in. I can't stand those things. So I like to put natural rock, wood for these guys to climb and bask. This is a better basking area for beardies or for any lizard because now they get the belly heat on top of getting the, the heat on top of them. So they get it both ways because this rock's going to heat up to about 110, 115 degrees. And you can't do that on a hammock. You use those hammocks, there is no heat that goes on there. So they don't get that nice, that flat belly heat. And I'm sure in the wild, these guys aren't laying on hammocks anyways. They're laying on rocks, rocky surfaces where the sun beats down. The sun's heating up those rock surfaces so they could lay on that. It helps the digestive system. And they also get the nice basking on the surface, top of their skin. And this guy is actually loving it he was up there earlier but when i took his his uh his little hiding his blinders off here he got view of the other beardy the female over there and boy his beard just turned pure black <laughs> so you can see he's got the eye right there looking straight across the room it's amazing they can see that far just like an eagle it's crazy but look how dark that beard is that is nuts just because he sees that other female blows my mind. But this guy's doing really well. Family did a really good job taking care of this guy. And I actually told him I'd put a video up so they could see how well he's doing. Because they were really concerned. They wanted to make sure he had a good home. And I'm going to give him a good home. As you can see, he's set up nice. Like I said, because of his front leg issues, he doesn't crawl very well. He moves really fast, really agile, so he can get around the cage and giving him these steps where he can easily climb to the top of this rock and get a nice basking area um, to heat up in the morning. So, and even with this here, they can, he's better climbing on this because he can at least grip this nice core surface with these wooden hides here. Works out great. And it gives him a little boost to get up on the bricks. It helps out. But again, he has a great appetite, no problem eating. I pumped him full of vitamins his first, his first day in, and he's doing really well. You see, his, he's not even looking. I put a power, uh, I put a superworm in there, and he's not budging. His eye is looking straight across the room at that girl over there. So he's not going to move until I put a blinder, <laughs> his blinder back up. And I have to, because otherwise that beard is going to be black all day. He's going to stress, and I don't want him stressing out. 
This, if I didn't mention his name is Tyson, that's what the family named him, so I'm gonna keep it. Mike Tyson's one of my biggest heroes growing up, so I love the name. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep it that way. Again, he's doing great, he's eating great. He's got tons of energy because he's obviously, as you can see, how dark, it's just amazing, the color change. I mean, that chin was orange just a minute ago. And once I put the blinder back on, he'll be just fine. But I'll keep you updated on this guy and I'll actually do a video on the other one that I rescued, probably going back maybe four or five months ago. And I named that girl over there Lucky because if I did not rescue her, she'd probably be dead right now. So she's doing really good, 100% different. And this guy's doing great. Like I said, he had pretty good care. The family that was taking care of him, the family I picked this animal up from did a great job uh, the short time they did have him. So I'll keep you posted on this guy. I'll do a video on the other girl, the female, and even Napoleon, the male. I have three now, possibly picking up a fourth one. Um, and looking forward to it. I just love these animals. They're great. The kids love them. They love to be handled. And they're just a great pet to have. All right, guys. Well, I'll talk to you later.